In the city of Christchurch, 400,000 people enjoy one of the best water supplies in the world. But pollution threatens that water supply. Within a hundred years, we could see the water become undrinkable. My name is Alastair Humphrey. As Canterbury Medical Officer of Health, it's my responsibility to ensure our drinking water is safe. Right now, Christchurch's water is safe, but how safe will it be in 50 years' time? You can't see, smell or taste nitrates, but they pose serious health risks for babies, and there is evidence that they pose serious health risks for adults. Modelling from ECAN now shows that the levels of nitrates on the north side of the Waimakariri River are flowing underneath that river towards the Christchurch urban drinking water supply. The city of Christchurch is dependent on this beautiful river system and there's nothing like it or very few places like it in the whole world. The fact that it comes out of the mountains and it flows across these amazing plains with lots of layers and layers of gravel, hundreds if not thousands of feet deep. When we draw water out of the aquifers of this river, we're getting the most beautiful, pristine water you could ever imagine. We need to be very careful that the water flowing into this river system is kept clean. Once water is contaminated with high levels of nitrate, it's too late to get it out again. Our alpine-fed, gravel-filtered aquifers are a national treasure. Complaints about the quality of our drinking water are nothing new. People have been protesting about administrative inaction on our drinking water quality ever since cow numbers exploded on the Canterbury Plains. Nitrogen is applied to the paddock as fertiliser to improve the poor quality Canterbury soils. Cows eat the grass and then excrete the nitrogen as nitrate onto the paddock which then flows into our aquifers. The dairying boom is being driven by irrigation schemes such as this one. The Central Plains Water Scheme is consented to use more than 600 million cubic metres of water per year. That's ten times what the whole of the city of Christchurch uses. To pay for irrigation schemes, farmers have to increase the numbers of cattle. This intensification results in huge amounts of nitrates leaching into the Canterbury soils. These monitoring boards show a steady and relentless increase in nitrates in our groundwater, despite the best efforts of farmers. Christchurch's water supply right now is very low in nitrates and is safe. But the ECAN scientists have said that there's a 75% chance that this nitrate level will increase significantly in the urban water supply in the next century. Above that level, babies die of a syndrome called Blue Baby Syndrome. Below that level, they are safe. Does boiling get rid of the nitrate? It doesn't, no. And as for the breastfeeding part of things, that's fine because it doesn't pass through into breast milk. It is an extremely rare syndrome. As far as we know, the last case in New Zealand was in the early 90s. But cases occur regularly in the United States. About half a dozen cases per year happen, and nearly all of those are associated with nitrate-contaminated drinking water. A study from Denmark by Jörg Schulener and his colleagues of 2.7 million adults show that the risk of bowel cancer begins at less than half the current maximum allowable value for nitrates. The study accounted for all those other variables that may also give rise to bowel cancer. Nonetheless, it showed that nitrates in drinking water are a significant contributor to this deadly and debilitating disease. Since the reporting of the Danish study, there are so many people so much more aware. We hear of a range of 
levels, maybe four, five, six, right up past the maximum acceptable value of 11.3. Most of them are private, relatively shallow bores. Studies from the United States show that removing nitrates from drinking water can cost as much as $2,000 per person per year. We already know that nitrates are affecting our rivers and streams. There's now compelling evidence that nitrates could also affect our health. If we have to remove nitrates from our drinking water, it's also going to affect our economy. Is it time to start thinking about reducing the number of cows? The Māori people treated the water as a treasure and we need to get with it and do the same.